Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Today, we gotta go into the Moleville Mines and try to rescue some kids in there and get a star that's a prerequisite to saving the world. Why not? But we do have some new enemies in here. Uh, Magmite, he has some pretty tough defense there against physical attacks. Uh, normally, he's immune to jump, but I got the jump shoes equipped. Uh, let's see, Babam it, it is weak to jump, but if you don't kill it quickly enough, then he'll suicide on you. And Sparky, we met in the previous area. All right, good shot there, Gino. And let's see. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with that one. Because I don't think Mallow can one-shot that guy. But I think he can one-shot this guy. Now with the symbols, what you want to do is wait until Mallow's arms are open just before he's about to crash the two symbols together. And... Okay, that wasn't good enough. I guess I didn't time it right. Oh, well. Usually I can do much better than that, but... Oh, well. Not this time. But we do have another new enemy here. Enigma! Uh, they are also weak to jump. Oh, nice. Well, we're going to finish the battle before that becomes relevant, but still. I like getting free buffs like that. Normally, Enigma has quite a bit of HP, but if you've been boosting jump up to this point, you should be fine. And we got yet another new enemy here, uh, Cluster. Yeah, those guys are also pretty tough. So I want to make sure I use my jump on them. I wonder if it's like their cousins where they counterattack you. Because I know some of their cousins later on in the game will really wreck you if you uh, use a physical attack on them without killing them with it. And they do have uh, better than average HP. So, you want to watch out for that. Uh-oh. Oh, just that. Okay. I thought that was going to be something much worse. Uh, okay. Well, let's see. But yeah, these guys are also uh, normally immune to jump, but we have the jump shoes equipped. Yeah, the punching glove. Basically the same timing as, for, as being bare-fisted, except in this case... Uh, well, you deal three hits, but it's still the same deal there. But, uh, no, nah, I don't want to risk losing experience points. And, okay, I think we're good to go. I think that's all the new enemies in here, too. <laughs> that was fast. Okay, how's it going? Oh, really? I don't believe you. Well, I'm going to find it first. But anyway, we gotta go down here. I think this leads back to the entrance there, but it's blacked off right now. But uh, anyway, okay, we've reached this point. We got a path to the right, path to the left, whole bunch of enemies down each. So I'm gonna clear both of those out before progressing with the plot here. So I'll take care of that and I'll be right back. All right, and after one of the bat let battles on the left, left path there, get a level for Gino there. Now, normally, on level 8, oh, when we get Geno Boost, that's a really good ability. It gives you uh, attack up, which boosts your damage, um, and physical and magical damage. But it also, if you time it right, it boosts your defense, physical and magical as well. Even though it doesn't say so, but it does. Now, normally, you probably want to go for magic for Geno there. But I don't think that's really necessary. I don't like most of his magical attacks anyway. And the ones that are useful are so powerful, you don't need it anyway. So I'm just going to dump more into power there. Okay, finished all the grinding there. And like I was saying about Gino there with his uh, attack, er, uh, he's really going to be the physical powerhouse of the party for this game. Because, well, he can get that and he has really good speed. So... Let's uh, see what this thing does. Oh, right! The whole thing caved in. Whoops. Nuts. Hey, Cracko! Nuts. What are you doing here? How'd you get in here, anyway? 
Uh, I got a beef with that, pal. Get him! Now, normally, there'd be a whole bunch of enemies in your way, but I already cleared them all out. So this should be relatively quick and painless for us. Ha ha. Hmm? Oh. Ba bomb Monkey! I, I mean, uh... Thinking of something else. Uh oh. Okay, cleared those guys out. Couldn't get to this room before because, well, Kako hadn't blown out either end, so. But before going after him, let's see what's up here. There'd be a few enemies around here, too. Oh, hey, it's the dad. Well, we got one of them. Nuts. I already killed all the babams in the area, though. If only there were a way I could get more of them. But anyway, now we gotta chase after Krakow a little bit. Well, we don't have to, but it's probably a good idea. But anyway, we want to take out these bandits here. Er, not bandits. Uh, I think they just, yeah, crooks. And at this point, I ran out of FP, so I can't use jump with Mario anymore. But that won't be a problem very shortly. Normally I'd be worried about that, but, well, you'll see. But anyway, whenever you find one of these bandit crook flunkies and you defeat them in battle, you get a flower tab! Yay! And I desperately need that. So let's go use that. I suppose I could have used a Caro Caro Cola, but, well, you know. It's part of the Too Good To Use Club. But anyway, let's go behind here. Alright, that's uh, crook number two. Hey, get back here! Nuts. I missed him. But anyway, we get another flower. Oh, right, I don't need to use it now. We get another flower tab, though. Let's get that third one, too. I like how these guys think they're hiding behind these boxes. As if I can't totally see them. They're like a cat. They'll get behind a box, even though you can totally see where they are. And, and it'll be like, I can see you, dumbass! Like, hiding behind a computer monitor or something. But anyway, okay, so we got a flower tab there, but we gotta head off Krakow there. So let's go back here. Haha! -ha, got him! For boss time! Pretty easy this time around. Okay, now we got Geno Boost here. Okay, let's see. Let's start with Mallow there. So basically, the way you time it, or time the Geno Boost to give you both the offense and defensive boost is to uh, press the Y button when you see that last arrow pop up there. But anyway, like before, Krakow is weak to fire! So let's use Super Flame on him. And same time in mechanic as before. All right, not bad, not bad. Yeah, normally we're dealing like half that damage. But, uh, well, we got Geno boost this time around. Makes Geno a really good character for boss fights because he's the only one who gets a buff like that. All right, we got that. Let's see if that helps out the damage with uh, Super Flame here. Because it should affect magic attacks too. So let's see, I dealt about 200 last time. Wow, not bad. All right, well, there you go, viewers. But yeah, uh, when it says attack up and defense up on the Geno Boost there, that's actually a status, or a positive status, that you get on your characters there. It's not like a flat stat boost or anything like that. Let's boost yourself up there. If you don't get the defense up, it's not a big deal, but it would be nice. Maybe I shouldn't have used another Super Flame here, because I almost have him dead anyway. Well, I like my meat well done. Alright, got him. So now we get all of our coins back, too. And another level, alright. So let's see, this one we want to go for magic? Yes. Mallow? 
No? Okay. And we'll never see him again this time. For real? Oh yeah, I kind of glossed over it. Uh, we got a Bambino bomb from him also, which we need to progress with the plot. So let's go put it to use. Gotta rescue the kitties. Hey, got a bomb. Oh, righty then. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I don't think you uh, want to come with us. These monsters can be a little rough on you. But anyway, let's head on through here. Now, to get to the end, you want to take the upper path. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to go over here. Whoa! Shy guy in a minecart, but we do get a frog coin for bumping into him for no apparent reason. Let's see, okay, wait for it. Get to the left, go! Okay, now we want to get as many of these guys as we can. Alright, that's probably a level up for Mallow there, I would say. I don't want to fall down. But, well, we did pretty good. I've done better, but that was decent. So, get a little more magic for him. Awesome. And let's get up top here. And after killing those guys, we get a whole bunch of coins here. How's my coin supply doing? Oh wow, I haven't even hit max yet? Hmm. Usually I get pretty close to that by this point. Oh, okay, now I'm a lot closer. And yeah, we got a bunch of these guys. Alright, and after one of those battles there, get another level for Gino. So, let's see. Who was that? Oh yeah, yeah, we want to go for power. Okay, cleared all those guys out, but first, let's go up here. Haha! -ha! If you didn't see that, that was a flower. And then, we get a little mushroom there. Alright. Well, a recovery mushroom, but yeah. Yep, let's save right over there. And let's see what's in the back there. Take a little peek in there. Whoa! Hey! Looks like there's a star up there. Looks like this guy has... What the... I'm gonna try that again. Whoa! I can't even walk up to the guy to take the star from him. Can we find a way to get it back? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!